Ray is HEI 2012. Heli Expo is winding to a close, and I think we've got what? 10 minutes. Let's save the best for last. Right, I understand you. you got new goodies. Tell me all about them. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. Uh, we're introducing two new products this year, the AMS42U. Uh, it's an upgraded version of our venerable AMS42. The AMS42 has been the standard with the U.S. Forest Service contract aircraft for the last 15 years. U.S. Forest Service requirements changed over the last year where they want another radio added. We tried introducing another product to them. They said, no, we don't want it. Just give us the MS-42 with another switch. So we're introducing the MS-42U, the U for the U.S. Forest Service. Okay. Second product, brand new technology, new idea. I haven't seen it anywhere else this year or any year. The remote transmit selector. and. Fundamentally what it does is it allows the pilots to continue to operate the aircraft hands on the cyclic and the collective as they need to be and not having to take a hand off, go down and select or change radio selections. Mm -hmm. They keep their hands on the switch, toggle, 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 transmit one, transmit two, transmit three, whatever you need to do. Must be nice to have a company where you can take an established product, respond to a customer who obviously is a good one and you know, says, well, I want it this way and go ahead and build them what they want. Yeah. Um, AEM's uh, product are the sort of, we're the phoenix that rose out of the ashes of what once was NAT. Um, I've been with NAT for 27 years. Most of the people who, who are part of AEM have a long, long history with NAT. AEM has continued the history of what NAT started many years ago, and that is responding to customer needs, listening to the customer, doing whatever we can to support the customer. Anybody comes to us with a new product idea, we try to give them a response within a matter of a couple of days to let them know whether we can or can't participate. And depending upon the scope of the project, we're three to six months to deliver a prototype. And we're happy to build two, three, five, a hundred. Come to us, talk to us, let us help you out. How did 2011 transition to 212 go for you folks? 2011 was phenomenal. Our sales are up 44% over year one. We had a tremendous year. We'll never do that again, I don't think, anyhow, not today's economy. We are projecting a growth of 5 to 7% for 2012. Heli Expo has been a great start for it. We had a lot of great interest uh, both in our products and our manufacturing capability, a lot of interest in the panel product, and we're hoping to see it continue. Now you've been in fairly well established markets based on the history here to four. Are you looking at any other markets? Are you looking at any other aspect of the industry that you kind of got your eyes on? We have a tendency to be highly focused on the helicopter market and the special role helicopter market. What we're trying to do is to look at broadening uh, that product offering, but where we're going is in expanding our subcontract manufacturing capability, our design capability. We are diversifying across a number of different spectrums, some of it within the aviation industry and some of it outside the aviation industry. Ray, thanks so much. Thank you. Abadine is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy to use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidine.